Madam President, guests, Carleton graduates, it's my pleasure and privilege to introduce the honorary degree recipient, Christina Gold. Christina Gold is a passionate business leader who is recognized for her ability to transform major corporations into powerful players in the global marketplace. As a leader, she masterfully manages relationships on a global scale. She empowers and fosters leadership in others. Leading by example, she sets incredibly high standards and she will quickly jump in whenever needed in order to reach the goal. Ms. Gold's visionary leadership and impressive achievements have not gone unnoticed. In 2007 and 2008, she was named one of Forbes' 100 Most Powerful Women. She has been recognized three times by Fortune Magazine as one of America's 50 Most Powerful Women in Business, most recently in 2008. As President and Chief Executive Officer for the Western Union Company, Ms. Gold is responsible for the financial and overall operational performance of the $5.3 billion company. Based at Western Union's global headquarters in Inglewood, Colorado, she has executive management oversight over a network of over 379,000 agent locations in 200 countries and territories. In addition, she oversees an employee base of over 6,200 people across 50 countries. Prior to joining First Data Company, the former parent company of Western Union, in May 2002, Ms. Gold was president and CEO of Excel Communications, a telecommunications and e-commerce services provider. She has also had a distinguished career with Avon, where she served as president of Avon North America and was credited with a significant turnaround of the cosmetic brand's U.S. business. Ms. Gold serves on the board of directors of ITT Corporation and New York Life. She is a member of the Committee Encouraging Corporate Philanthropy, an international forum of CEOs dedicated to leading the business community in raising the level and the quality of corporate philanthropy. In 2007, Western Union launched Our World, Our Family, a $50 million five-year initiative that aims to empower migrant families through education and global economic opportunity programs. A Carleton graduate already herself, she has used her extensive corporate connections to benefit Carleton students. A gift from Ms. Gold and her husband Peter, who is also a Carleton grad, was matched by three companies through her connections to establish the Engelman Gold Family Scholarship. Madam President and Vice Chancellor, in recognition of the trailblazing accomplishments of a woman in business and the strong leadership exemplified by the successful turnarounds of major corporations in a global environment, I request that you confer the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa upon Ms. Christina Gold. By virtue of the authority granted to me by the Faculty Senate and the Board, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa with all the rights, responsibilities, and privileges thereto pertaining. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you please address convocation? Thank you very much and good morning. And thank you very much, Dr. Runte, distinguished professors, students, honored guests, and especially the Carleton class of 2009. I am honored to be sharing this celebration with you today. This is most of all your day to celebrate and share the special time with your family and friends. Congratulations. 
I am celebrating today, too. Forty years ago, it was my graduation day. And it was the day that my husband, Peter, and I got engaged. We have been each other's best friend and biggest cheerleader ever since. Peter, also a Carleton alumnus, is here today cheering me on, as he always does. I am extremely proud that Carleton invited me to accept this honor and appreciate that so many of my family and friends are here today. A lot has changed since I attended my graduation ceremony at Carleton. When I received my bachelor's degree, women made only one-third of Carleton's total enrollment. Today, enrollment is almost evenly split between the genders. This year, Carleton is granting nearly three times as many undergraduate and graduate degrees as it did when I graduated, and seven times as many PhDs. When I was invited to speak to you, I thought about what could I share with you on this very important day. They say experience is the best teacher, but as I am sure many of you have already learned, she is also a hard teacher. She gives the test first, and the lessons come afterward. With that in mind, I would like to invite you along the journey and share some of my experiences I have had that may be helpful to you. I could never have imagined then where would my life lead me now. Not surprisingly, who I am today begins with my very first teachers, my parents. I was born in the Netherlands. My father was a Dutch military officer and champion gymnast. A quiet man, he has had a great influence in my life, teaching me the importance of ethics, fairness, hard work, and always pushing me to learn. My mother, born in Canada and raised in England, was a nurse and an artist who had a great love of nature and was much more outgoing than my father. I inherited my great love of people from her and learned the importance of putting people first and building relationships. I have carried their wisdom with me through the years and owe much of my success to those early lessons. My brother Jan, my sister Patty, and I immigrated with my parents to Montreal when I was five years old. Little did I know then that my future would hold a whole world of new languages and cultures for me to experience. With a desire to learn and a work ethic and a drive to push myself, I came to Carleton, my first time away from home and my first taste of independence. The four years went by quickly and the time came for me as it has for you to turn the page to the next chapter in my life story. Now, I imagine many of you have a well thought out plan, a roadmap to the future, where you envision yourself in the months and years to come. For my part, for better or worse, that roadmap did not exist. There was no grand plan. My first stop was Brook Bond Foods. I was hired as a clerk, responsible for adding up the discount coupons that customers redeemed at the grocery store. A perfect fit? Probably not, but it was my introduction to the world of business. My next stop was getting hired at Avon. At that time, I joined the company. I could never have imagined that I would be with the company for 28 years, becoming president of Avon Canada and eventually president of Avon North America. While I would like to take credit for a shrewd career decision moving to Avon, the truth was I took the inventory control clerk job because it paid $20 more a week and I wanted to help my husband buy a desk for his new office. Over the years, I have learned that some things happen for a reason and to never discount the role of luck and timing when it comes to success. I worked hard to make my mark at Avon, and that is when good fortune smiled on me and I met my mentor, Mun Leving, head of human resources at Avon. Finding a dedicated mentor is a gift, and one whose value you can never underestimate. 
It was Mun who saw my potential and nurtured it. I recall it was at times a painful growing experience. Not uncommon for many, I had a fear of public speaking and Mun challenged me to overcome it. I remember he persuaded me or forced me to give a speech to senior management in New York, a terrifying prospect, and he made me rehearse it again and again. I reached a point where I was ready to quit, but I didn't, and I survived. I learned that there is no such thing as can't, only won't. And this was an immensely valuable lesson. Mun also helped me to understand early on when building your career, it is often more important to recognize what you don't know and push yourself to fill those gaps. I'm especially delighted that at the age of 88, Mun is here to share this special day with me. Mun, thank you very much. With Mun's guidance, I made it my mission to fill those gaps. I have to admit, this required some tough decisions, including making some lateral moves. It was through these moves that I was able to gain my hands-on experience in nearly every aspect of the business. During my years at Avon, I held more than two dozen different positions, from inventory control, customer service, credit and collection, to marketing, sales, human resources, and manufacturing. I even made the conscious and very tough decision to take a demotion, giving up my private office and my administrative assistant to move on to a supervisory role. But that decision allowed me to get experience in managing people. It is because of the decisions I made then that I gained the business knowledge and skills needed to open the door to the other career opportunities that have come my way. In 1998, I ventured out to try my hand at a new and unfamiliar industry. I joined Excel Communications, a long-distance carrier in the United States, as Vice Chairman and CEO. Peter and I packed our bags and moved to Dallas, Texas, another unexpected turn in the road for us. As my husband Peter likes to say, you never know where life will lead you. Let's just enjoy the adventure. Ironically, XL Communications was wholly owned by Bell Canada. Though we lived in the United States, we still had a Canada connection. It was when XL was sold that I made my next stop on my career and joined Western Union, moving to Denver, Colorado, where I am today. Looking back, my career has gone from cosmetics to telecommunications to global financial services, three very separate, unrelated, industries of which I had no prior knowledge or experience. I did, however, discover that there is a common thread that connects them. That common thread is people. During my four decades in business, I have had the great privilege to work with a variety of personalities and a cast of very interesting people, representing a broad and deep collection of talent and life experiences. I have seen firsthand how resourceful and powerful people can be when their talents are unleashed and their energies are challenged toward a common goal. From my perspective, there is no substitute for fueling the human spirit and no greater reward than celebrating the triumphs of the team. Coming to Western Union was both a perfect fit and an exciting opportunity. For those of you who may remember the good old days when Western Union was a telegram company, Today, we are a global Fortune 500 company located in more than 200 countries and territories with almost 400,000 agent locations worldwide. We offer consumers fast and convenient ways to send money around the globe. Simply put, we move 17% of the world's cash. Being at the helm of Western Union, I know that our services make a difference in so many lives, helping hard-working men and women support their families back home to pay for essentials like rent, food, clothing, and education. For me, going beyond business only has always been a priority. Winston Churchill said it best, we make a living by what we get. 
We make a life by what we give. Leading Western Union, I had the privilege and opportunity to put these words into action, establishing the Western Union Foundation. Through the foundation, we fund initiatives driven by a single purpose, to empower individuals, families, and communities through access to better education and economic opportunity. Some of my most memorable and rewarding experiences have occurred on trips to places like Mexico, China, and India, where individuals on farms and in small villages show me what they have accomplished with the grants they have received. Having career success can be satisfying, certainly, but it is about so much more than business. Nothing compares to the satisfaction, fulfillment, and importance of giving back. It is these experiences that stay with you. And that is where my journey has taken me since my graduation day. Looking back, there may have been a master plan after all, with each life experience and with every lesson I learned along the way, from my parents' encouragement, my insatiable desire to learn and to grow, to my mentor pushing me to excel, and my husband and my family's never-ending support. I discovered that another piece of the plan unfolded, bringing me to where I am today. However, today is about each of you beginning your own journey. Keep learning and asking questions. Hold on to that powerful curiosity that has brought you this far. Recognize that success is not a solo act. Never forget those important people behind the scenes of your success, family, co-workers, friends, and mentors. Be passionate about what you, what you do. It's that passion that positively channels your energy, drive, and ambition. Perhaps most important, do not limit yourself. There is a world of possibility out there waiting for you. It may not be a smooth journey at times. You may find some potholes and detours in the road along the way. I know that I did. But just keep moving ahead. Enjoy the adventure and see where the road leads you. Finally, trust yourself. Put your future in good hands, your own. Thank you very much and congratulations.